Death Note, The Honest Truth. And just before we get started, if you haven't watched the series, it's a very good one. I'm not going to spoil it for you. There is spoilers. I'm going all the way to the ending with this. So before I actually tell y'all my honest truth, I'm going to get y'all in the same state of mind as me so we can be on the same page when y'all hear what I'm saying. Let's do the first part. We're going to do a quick recap and I'll tell y'all where to skip to. The second part, we're going to do um, what they did right, what they did wrong, and then the last part being... The ending and what they did wrong in the ending is essentially going to be the same thing because that's like the main point that i think that they did wrong with death note and then i'm gonna put my honest truth on it you know give it a nice rating out of 10 i guess uh how i truly feel after being showed everything so let's get it started a quick recap the story starts off as l finding the death note um a book that can kill anybody that you write your name that you write their first and last name thinking of their face of by a heart attack you can describe the uh killing you want within the next six minutes and it will happen uh light figured out this works and he immediately thinks wait i can make a perfect world i can get rid of every criminal and be the god of that world and juristic who shall die and not now obviously he starts creating this world because who really can stop him and who knows he's doing it eventually this catches the attention of some like national not national international government system that they have set in place you know with all the countries maybe it's like the ally forces or the axis forces way back then nato or something like that catches attention to them and they're like well we can't find this so they summon ill which is like this typical guy that you would think of when you think someone that just sits on their computer all day 24 7 insanely smart geek that only sits on their pc all day you get l that's exactly what he looks like and he's already been a in any case obviously in character from the jump but he thinks he's going to need the help of the police force and they essentially let l i mean light know like hey we know you exist and we're going to find you so then becomes this whole rivalry of l versus light them trying to outsmart one another until one of them either gets killed or light loses and gets caught to the story ending off with l dying even though l technically won in my book and that could be for a whole another video we're gonna get rid of a whole another video light going on to lose to the one that is supposed to surpass l and then he dies there and the story ends still kind of with a quote-unquote happy ending there's a lot of things that they did right with this story uh the biggest thing is being l l was like the perfect hero in the main character in the main villain story you know what i mean our main character is a villain first off we really don't see that too much in anime with the main character being villain and even if we do see it it's not as good as death note makes it you know what i mean so like you're kind of rooting for the villain sometimes and that's kind of weird because like oh no this dude's murdering people but i don't want him to be caught just yet you know i don't hate this guy what he's doing is wrong i don't hate him but it's very interesting i want to keep him going i wouldn't mind seeing what it's like for him winning and it didn't really have me questioning it, but it could have actually had some people questioning you know it's getting rid of all the criminals right but light did make some mistakes he killed some people that weren't criminals and he became copy cocky my bad and he became arrogant and these are points in his character to solidify that he is a villain he's not good he is evil and this is another thing that they did good because it helps it shows like here's the villain here's the good guy you know what i'm saying and we're looking at l like he's a super smart dude but how can he really distinguish this and figure this out that is coming from a book seeing that development happen and seeing how bold l is knowing that he's willing to take his life showing character development and how much of a hero l actually is even though he doesn't look like it like when before i even watched death note this is a side note before i even watched death note I thought L was the bad guy and Light was the good guy. And that was before I even watched it. You know, I had no knowledge of it just because L looked like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I was like, wait, what? So even though he doesn't look like he's a hero, it shows that he is, that he's willing to risk his life to find this guy to save the world. And these are all amazing factors that make the story great. And the, re and the whole climax of the story is when they're neck and neck trying to outsmart each other, literally right next to each other. L thinking that Light is kill and how Light obviously knows he is but is trying to convince l and everybody else that he isn't a huge climax to the point where l just drops dead in front of light and everybody else without light using any kind of notebook of anything of the sort so which kind of is writing light out of the akita category and then we get this insane perfect victory speech and l looking in his eyes looking in light's eyes watching him smile his quote-unquote just became friend even though he knew light was kita and he got his confirmation right before his death so i truly believe like kind of died peacefully um and i'm gonna get to that in a short video or whatnot because it doesn't need his own video but technically l l would have 
been caught like if he played like by anybody else's rules but ill wasn't that kind of guy just straight up erase somebody he wanted 100 percent proof and he wanted to beat you at your own game and then arrest you let's get back to the point though ill died peacefully and we get lights perfect victory you get his victory speech he's won what's next lights perfect world that's what should have been next and this is where they went wrong add in near and whoever the hell's the other dude is i don't even know and i don't even care that's how uninteresting these characters were how much of a 2.0 they were to ill and no point of them existing these two characters that's supposed to be light or better than light together and it did not feel like it felt like the story felt like it was rushed at the end and now don't get me wrong near is a like he's smart um i connected more with near than i did with the other dude obviously because i can't remember his name just how that story ended it just didn't fit death note death note wasn't a thing to like cater to the good you know if you died you died light on dad died it didn't change no tide of lights character you know things like how the uh, tone of the story in the series was set it didn't make it seem like fl would die light will lose even anyways it didn't feel like that typical anime you know what i'm saying so like say for example if goku died it's okay he's gonna get wished back anyway that's kind of how death note felt to me when they brought near in and the other dude and then they beat light it's like what bro who was all that for you know what i mean i honestly feel like if l wasn't gonna catch light light should have won I, there's no need for nobody else to catch him who else i would rather have that ending of light's perfect world an anime ending like that a dark ending here's the thing if they wanted light to lose they could have used something to bite him in the ass and this is coming from one of my shorts ray pember his fiance they could have brought that back on l over time and he loses that way you know showing his little cracks his little baby mistakes that he made trying to be cocky and being arrogant when he first got the death note came back to bite him in the ass story ends that way i would rather see that you know from one of his past people that he's taken out comes back to bite him you know get some karma again dealt to light then near and the other dude outsmarting them the way that they outsmarted light didn't even make sense perfectly copying someone's handwriting and filling in all the pages thousands of pages in one single night bro that got to be the most animated thing ever and when they and, and don't get me the, don't get me like wrong it's okay to have some anime moments like that but for it to change the entire story and for it to end that whole story is just not right this whole series they were that smart to figure out these things but then when you pull off some things that are literally physically impossible it just makes no more sense you know what i mean and don't get me wrong it was it's one thing if it wasn't absolutely perfect but they made it seem absolutely perfect because bro literally was checking under a microscope to make sure there were no differences so how do you perfect it that much thousands of pages i mean not thousands of pages thousands of words in one night perfected you never wrote in that man handwriting before and you're some random character that barely got screen time that's where they really messed up the only good part about the ending was ryuk killing light i'm fine with that if he would have died by them killing him shooting him or whatnot wouldn't have been fine with that because it's ryuk doing it and on top of that they foreshadowed it honestly i was expecting ryuk to do it once he create once light creates his perfect world i was expecting that those two characters were not needed i would rather see something come back to bite him with ray pember and his fiance it should have came back to bite him if they wanted to have another hero try to stop him it should have been something to, like it should have been some sort of karma not someone smarter than l because l was the peak of smartness l was the peak of countering something that you could never know that's really what they went wrong now to end my honest truth of it after hearing all of that it's still a very great series it's not going down factor the end you know may have messed up the series a lot for people or some people may have even liked it i would not see how you liked it but you got it bro the end it did tank a lot for me but l kind of saved the day l and light rivalry was probably a huge refresher to anime for me i wasn't expecting it to even like the first episode of death note i'm like yeah, it's cool it's nice it's whatever thinking it's gonna be like that same typical shonen type anime that you watch you know five episodes in i'm like hold on why <laughs> why am i hooked on this 10 episodes in, i'm like oh shit. 
it, the ending can't take away from that. It's not like they completely trashed the ending. And that's really because Ryu killed Light. Yeah, my honest truth is that it's still one of the best anime I've ever watched. That's my honest truth. And I still give it an overall 9 out of 10. I will only take off a point for the ending. That's how good the series is. It's so well thought out up until the ending that I still give it a 9 out of 10. That's my honest truth on Death Note. Death Note is a very great series. And there's loads of more content I'm gonna make with short big videos um but y'all let me know how do y'all specifically feel about the ending of death what do y'all think i think it was i think it was terrible not even gonna hold you back stay tuned man i got another video dropping for y'all next week probably some more death note content